It's no secret I like characters that can throw hands plain and simple. I mean, who doesn't like good old-fashioned super strength, right? Well, in the world of One Piece, you know you got your pirates, you know, beings that do whatever the heck they want to do, sail the ocean, adventure in, but then you got people that oppose them, similar to real life, like the government, but in this world, the government is a world government. Being a world-established entity, it's obvious they're going to have a lot of people working for them. But just because you're in the world government does not mean you all are created equal, even though it's a lot of members, all have different ranks and power levels. And in the world of One Piece, a big determining factor on determining where you rank at in the government or as a marine is indeed your power level. For example, the highest ranked marines known as the admirals are considered the highest ranked fighters of the marines. So your actual strength does matter when it comes to your rank. And today I'll be going over possibly the strongest marine of all time, especially in his prime, the being known as Garb. When he was in the Marines, for the most part, he he stopped that Vice Admiral. Even though he's definitely an Admiral level being, you're gonna you're gonna see plenty of proof of that in this video. I guess when you think about it, time is the true enemy. But of course, he's one of those characters he had to age up to who he was. He was a kid at one point, obviously, and apparently rose the ranks in the Marines throughout the years, getting stronger as time goes by. Obvious, the standard stuff improving. You can kind of tell where he is in his timeline by the way his hair looks. Dark black, no gray yet. Still black hair. You can still see he's pretty close to his prime or might be in his prime here. But then as the years go by, you start seeing slight gray. The crazy part is despite him getting older, I find it funny that he's still, even while older, is still considered one of the strongest. He's getting older, so he's not as strong as he used to be. He's still ridiculously strong still though. Huh. Do you give an idea of Garp's might? Even when he's apparently vulnerable, when he's weakened, people really think they can get the advantage and take him out. You guys wouldn't stand a chance even if we both bound his arms and legs. <laughs> This just lets you know that just because he's weakened doesn't really mean crap. But let's talk about his might in this video. How strong is Garp? There's a multitude of ways to be strong in a One Piece world. For one, you can train your muscles up just as a base human to the point where you can become superhuman just from training alone. Pirates and Marines alike, you can eat devil fruits to become stronger faster if you want to to help your power output out. This is something Garp doesn't have and he's still one of the strongest beings in this universe. While it is true these fruits will help speed up the process of you getting stronger as a character, it's not the only way you can become ridiculously strong because Garp is a testament of it that he can be strong just from his bare fist and a part of this is his muscle strength but part of this is his techniques that he knows being able to control his hockey every character has hockey and can learn it garp is one of those characters that would be considered one of the elite hockey beings of this verse hockey is latent power that everybody has the way the show animates it you see the characters using hockey when they make their arms black and stuff this is for animation purposes but it's really invisible armor not to mention there's different levels of it that makes your strikes significantly more powerful than before garp knows the higher ends of this stuff like for example this is a case you can see garp using it when his arm is black here to increase his punching power even though he's already ridiculously strong because this how his fist normally looks but when he's using armor you see it looking blackish you know that's how they animate it this technique this inner thing that everybody has comes in handy because you know people that have devil fruits have special abilities that make them hard to hurt luffy his grandson is one of them he's made of rubber he's made of rubbery type elements it's hard to hurt him but garp still can hurt him with blunt punches because of his hockey right here is not showing black but it, like i said it's invisible armor they don't always have to animate it for them to use it everybody's surprised how is he able to hurt him like let you know it's explained that this armament hockey this armor around your fist this invisible armor is effective for combat it can hit beings that have fluid bodies and you can hit them solidly which comes in handy against certain devil fruit users that can make their body intangible basically. And there's beings that are actually made of light and thanks to this hockey stuff you can hit them solidly. So this hockey technique stuff is really important when it comes to fighting superpower beings. And Garp is like one of the best beings of this. It's proven that he can touch beings made of different elements like how he can touch Okuji, somebody that's made of ice and actually hit them physically. One could say this is like energy manipulation or energy projection, One Piece's version of it because they call it literal spiritual energy. This also ability known as hockey gives a person the ability to have super senses basically because he knows in this particular occasion teaching Luffy Rayleigh can tell you where exactly he's going to get hit and which angle Garp has these type of techniques too super senses one can say they got their own spider sense via this technique similar to the Marvel Comics character <laughs> feeling the presence of everybody around them I mean, part of the reason why the main character Luffy himself is so strong is because Garp trained him a bit back in the earlier days. Okay, so now that we established that the higher rank you are, it actually does have something to do with your actual physical power or power at threat level in general. I mean, let's get into Garp's strength. I mean, the guy can tussle or fight bears, bust through walls of a building with ease. He has the raw strength to crumble cannons like this. 
just right off the gate, Garp is strong without using the inner wheel hockey to enhance his hits because his daily routine, Vice Admiral Garp, ever since his use, that was part of his daily routine. He used battleship bags to use them like punching bags, caved them in with punches. And it was strictly stated, no hockey or fruit abilities when doing this, just brute strength. Stuff like this proves that Garp has legit super strength, punching strength, without even using hockey or fruit ability. I mean, we know he doesn't have devil fruit, so yeah, that's out of the question. He can use ships as punching bags. One of his themes is throwing cannonballs, right? He can throw cannonballs with his bare hands to show his strength. He threw the cannonball like a baseball, and it stated the cannonball itself flew faster than a regular cannonball would. And this is apparently with his strength declining. <laughs> It's little featherweight feats like this that pretty much prove if Garp wanted to, he could punch a building down because we know cannonballs can destroy buildings if they're big enough. Garp is strong enough. Okay, look at this real quick. You see Garp's ship, right? Look at his ship compared to buildings, right? There is a cannonball that was basically bigger than buildings or some houses or whatever. Garp pulled out this super big giant cannonball and slung it and it looked like it was bigger than the whole Thousand Sunny ship based on these angles. I mean, this kind of stuff makes sense when Garp talks about his punching power, right? When he was in this class with this being known as Don Chinjo, another pirate, it's pretty much confirmed he smashed eight mountains into pieces with his bare fist to get warmed up. On top of the fact this was his younger days, so this definitely adds up. His older self was able to throw cannonballs that big. He said he can do stuff like this. Him busting up multiple mountains. I totally believe something like destroying mountains, he could do this at his old age. Because that's nowhere near his limit, I would say. That's just like on warm up, trembling and destroying mountains. Not to mention, during this occasion when he was talking about warming up, he was talking about this being known as Don Shinjiao. This being known as Don Shinjiao was pretty powerful and can use hockey to increase his striking power as well. There was a great landmass, ice sheet, and there's only a way for him to cleave it asunder. One strike. In a single point, tremendous force. Don Chinja was able to split it like this. Feats like this definitely prove these beings can shatter mountains and stuff, especially cleaving it this wide when one attack. And this ice isn't skinny. It's pretty thick. And when Don Chinja used his head against Garp, Garp hardening up his fist and everything could punch hard enough to flatten this dude's head and overpower him despite him using his own version of hockey. This kind of proves if Garp was in the same situation, he could do the same and punch through this ice glacier if he wanted to, splitting all of this stuff right down the middle. Would his punching power if he just had to? In these dire circumstances, he could do the same thing like Chin Jiao. Even while older, you know, Whitebeard, he was the strongest man in the world at the time. Whitebeard's right-hand man, somebody who's also pretty strong in his crew, is strong enough to kick an admiral and send him flying. You know how I said earlier about admirals. When it comes to the food chain of fighters or powerhouses in the marines or navy, they're at the top of the food chain. He's even in this list I made. For Marco to be able to hit, it shows that he uses hockey. He can hit an admiral so hard that they go flying that hard and they make a big explosion afterwards. And Garp, even while old, he can hit him backwards. In the government, he was a vice admiral of the Navy, but do not get this twisted. He is not like the other vice admirals at all. He's actually an anomaly vice admiral. He's not really supposed to be a vice admiral based on his power level. Garp was literally a candidate to be an admiral, but he just said, nah, I don't want to because he doesn't want to have to work directly under the Celestial Dragon, so he just always denied the promotion. It's the simple fact he could have been an admiral lets you know that he's way above vice admiral level and is an admiral level being, but he just didn't want to be ranked that, but he's still in that power range. Stated on panels like this, Garp just said promotion just means less freedom. Turning down yet another promotion, he could easily be an admiral. This is allegedly confirmed during the depressing events of the war. He was so pissed off, he was actually a threat for an admiral like Sakazuki. It was implied if he didn't hold him down, he was going to kill him, implying that he really could if he wanted to. So yeah, admiral rank level being like Sengoku. Not to mention Okaji himself, the being that can use ice because he ate the devil fruit. As powerful as he is, he's an admiral. And to let you know Garp's might, Garp actually, I mean, he was actually a mentor of an admiral level being like Okaji, Kuzan. An admiral was Garp's protege, you know, because Garp's older than him. And keep note that this is with rules in place. When they were trying to earn their strength, they stated the rules were no hockey or fruit abilities allowed while working on the battleship bags. Oh, by the way, battleships were used as punching bags. Okaji can punch this hard too without his ice or hockey abilities, just straight brute strength. No hockey in enhancing their strength either. There's too much writer intent for Garp to be up there with the top tiers. Okaji's asking for his advice because he wants to go to the next level 
that lets you know how strong Garp is, especially in his prime era. Beings wanted to be his disciple. Beings that would end up becoming Admiral level beings. To develop his strength, no hockey, this is training. Like in One Piece, there's bounties. You can kind of get an idea of bounties and character strength based on their bounties because you know how pirates have bounties. Marines also have bounties because of the cross guild and stuff. Puts bounties on Marines too, so now they got to look over their shoulder. Stuff like that. Garp's bounty is 3 billion. That's like similar to Yonko's, and they say that's the same as an Admiral, proving that he is Admiral level. Calling Garp Admiral level is kind of an oversimplification because he might be even slightly above, considering you know how there's the government and there's pirates and there's different pirates throughout the world of One Piece and there's different pirates with different power levels and etc. Generally throughout One Piece, Yonko levels or Emperor level beings are considered to be Admiral level or even one can argue higher. Because Whitebeard was one of the strongest pirates to ever exist, and he was young here, but even while old and, and decrepit, severely weakened, can't, can't do the stuff he used to do when he was younger, he still was strong enough to let you, just give you an idea of the Yonko tears and the Emperor tears, even like this, he still, even why battle damage didn't hurt, can make admirals nervous. Being old and decrepit, hurt up, and weakened still can defeat an admiral. So what the heck do you think he can do in his prime? Roger, someone that's the king of pirates, somebody that's also comparable to Whitebeard in power. He's another Yonko level being. He was the king of the pirates. Why am I bringing this up? Because this guy Garp, a marine, has such a crazy reputation. The vice admiral, Garp, it was stated he's the legendary marine, and he's the guy that has cornered the pirate king gold roger when he was still around roger himself the king of the pirates straight up said the only marines that would be worth his time would be garp and sengoku letting you know garp is high up there he said the rest of them are no fun this was back in garp in his prime would have loved to see garp and roger fight on screen hey it was even stated in panels right here they garp and roger have faced each other dozens of times in battle you guys already know how i mentioned the emperors and how the em emperors are like the top five four strongest pirates in the sea right there was a time where all the emperors this is back in the day before they became emperors they was a part of this being known as Zebex crew the rock pirates it was a lot of heavy hitters on the same squad basically well, yeah when big mom was actually attractive <laughs> The God Valley incident 38 years ago, this was back when Garp was strong. That force of rampage and evil has been put to a stop by a Marine Vice Admiral. He was called the hero of the Marines because of this. Remember how early in the video I already proved about Garp being strong enough to level battleships or use them as punching bags without even using hockey? Imagine that kind of strength when you actually use it with hockey. It's pretty much already proven that whatever Garp can do like this, his younger days, when it comes to how hard he can hit, he can do better. Well, there was this one time he infused his fist with a crazy amount of hockey. Garp pretty much pulls up and says it's time to be his own walking buster call. Like you see all these buildings in the surrounding area. They knew what time it was. They said nowhere on the island is safe. This kind of stuff just proves what I've been saying in this video. He can punch with ridiculous power and long range. He has this technique known as galaxy fist or one could say galaxy impact to where as little as he is, he makes this big old area of effect blasting away a city or one could say an entire town with one attack. A being that one could say is as big as mountains or bigger than buildings was one of the beings that got sent flying by Garp's hit despite Garp being way smaller than him he still got sent flying and almost drowned might I add they even said Garp's scary Garp basically proves he's a walking nuclear bomb for a reason the fact he can produce punches like this is just outrageous despite this attack being incredibly destructive just with his fist and he has no devil fruits the part that's scary even though he produced all of this destruction by himself with one attack. Garp says he really lost his touch. This was a disappointment. Everybody's like, you've got to be kidding me. That wasn't enough destruction for you. So it's like saying if he can do it like this at this age, what was he like younger and in his prime? I mean, what the heck was he going to do in his prime as a youngin with these type of blasts? Would he split or blow away the island itself with his destructive power? Tremble the entire island in his younger days? If he said this as an old man, this was a disappointment? Even though his power is declining, when it comes to his rank in the Navy, even though his power is declining, he's still above Vice Admiral to you and still Admiral level-esque. I mean, you got scans like this that pretty much prove admirals are neck and neck with each other and Garp, even while older, power declining. We still see Garp scrap it out with an admiral level being like Okaji. Okaji even tries to freeze him. This usually works because Okaji's ice can freeze battleship sized beings like this. Despite the size difference, he cannot do this to Garp and freeze him solid. One could say this is probably because of Conqueror's infusing and his mastery of hockey and stuff of that such. Garp even says, you can't stop me like that, you dumb A. Everybody even noticed it's not working. 
Oh, I forgot to mention in this video, yeah, Garp's decently fast. We've seen plenty of occasions of Garp's speed, like zipping past the Straw Hats. Even though all these beings have superhuman reflexes, he zipped past all these beings who were guarding Luffy and was still able to hit Luffy regardless of the speed of his teammates or reflexes. I mean, Garp's underlings like Kobe, that ends up getting stronger, is also fast to move like a blur, so it makes sense that Garp is fast. Not only is he battling the Admiral, the Admiral Kuzan thought he was done for, Garp simply says that's just a scratch, and here's another occasion of Garp showing off his speed, blitzing towards him, shocking him, punches him this way. Even Admirals that have absurd reflexes, he vanishes before their eyes. Garp has the speed to blitz towards a literal being that's a literal island, not to mention it's proven that even in his old age, he can still damage an Admiral with this blue hole slam. Garp gets in a slugfest with the Admiral level being known as Kuzan, aka Okaji, and they cause this much collateral blowing the environment away to some degree. They both blast at each other backwards afterwards. Even though Okaji isn't old and decrepit, this still isn't an easy fight, even though he's a lot older. So one could say if Garp was in his prime, he would actually be able to beat an Admiral level being like this. Don't forget that him punching Okaji like this is after one can say Garp getting ganged up on and stabbed with a blade that deep. By Shiryu of the Rain, a swordsman, he said, okay, I got stabbed, good for you, and then he punched you and said, eat this to Shiryu. This is something I haven't went over in this video, but this also shows Garp's pain tolerance. Notice how everybody was surprised. He stabbed Garp. He's weakened. It's the only reason he was able to do this is because he was invisible. Garp said, this is nothing. Go to the ship. This kind of reminds me of Whitebeard calling stab wounds nothing and was still able to continue the battle in the war after being stabbed like this. This kind of reminds me of Garp saying this is nothing. High pain tolerance. Like he got sliced with blades in the past while he wasn't really paying attention by Axe Hand Morgan and he was asleep and it didn't wake him up. One of these beings they're encountering is a being that ate the island island fruit, a being that can become the actual island itself. And this is not an exaggeration. He's literally becoming a literal island. A piece of his hand is bigger than the ship. And you see the eyes like this being is literally an island. Garp actually doesn't give a crap that the whole island itself is alive. Garp said, let me punch. With this technique known as Galaxy Divide, this dude can damage an island an island itself. While old, damage and fatigue, he still can damage islands to a big degree. I'll being at a literal living island itself. All you did was make yourself a big target for Garp, basically. Imagine what Garp can do if he was younger. There's also implication that he can destroy the island stated here. Are you trying to destroy Pirate Island? Letting you know he could. Saying any top tier is mountain level only is absolutely ridiculous when you got underlings like Kobe. Thanks to Garp's training and him training on his own, could blast away with a super punch, mountain-sized hands. That's not my opinion about it being mountain size. They literally said on panel that arm was as big as a mountain. He blew it away into smithereens with an incredible super punch. So you know Garp is way above that. As strong as Garp's subordinates in and all the stuff I've shown you in this video, I wouldn't be surprised if he could blast away multiple islands at the same time if you put them all in the same path or angle with his blow. And due to proof of this video of him battling Roger several times in the past, he might be able to do the classic Yonko theme thing that everybody does because he knows how to use Conqueror's Hockey too. There's a good chance he can do what the Emperors usually do and split the sky clash with another Yonko level being too if he was in his prime maybe. What do y'all think though? How strong do you think Garp is? Luffy's grandfather. But before I get going, thanks for the donations everybody. Respect Garp. He's insane. I'm glad you are enjoying your time on the channel. Make sure you check out the playlist on the channel to see other How Strong videos. If you like what this channel is offering, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys later.